Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing expatriation. And we don't often discuss this very much, although I do, I guess, discuss it in the context of U.S. immigration when we're discussing, for example, K-1 visas or K-3 visas, CR-1 visas, IR-1 visas, basically marriage and fiancé visas we discuss a lot on this channel. But what we're discussing here, probably best to just go ahead and quote from this recent article in The Nation, that's nationthailand.com. Article is titled, Sweden, UK, Aussie Embassies Join the Trend Sparked by Group Urging People to Leave Thailand. Quoting directly, three embassies have joined the new social media trend started by the Yak Pratet Kantur, Let's Move Out of This Country group by providing advice on their Facebook pages. Quoting further, Meanwhile, the Australian, Swedish, and British embassies have jumped on the quote, moving out of Thailand, unquote, trend by posting advice for those interested in their countries. And there's a lot more in this article. Again, nationthailand.com, titled Sweden, UK, Aussie embassies join the trend sparked by group urging people to leave Thailand. Now, I don't know exactly how much these folks are saying, you know, hurry up, and wagons out of Thailand, go, you know, leave, or if they're just simply promoting their own country, which is what the embassies in foreign countries are sort of in a way tasked with doing. They're kind of the brand of that country. They're promoting brand Sweden, for example. The U.S. Embassy is in the business of brand USA. That's, that's what they do. So to some extent, it's a little bit, I think, unfair to say that they're trying to sort of lure people or anything out of Thailand, although it is interesting. This all seems to be coming up in the context of folks who are trying to leave Thailand in order to get the vaccine and come back. I've done other videos on this channel, channel contemporaneously with this one where we're discussing that specifically in the context of U.S. immigration. But, you know, there do seem to be a number of people that are very concerned about that, are looking to get out of Thailand in order to get inoculated and then return. And, you know, exactly how this plays out, I don't know. Do I think that these embassies are trying to encourage, you know, Thais to forever leave Thailand? No, I, I don't think that at all. In fact, my impression after reading the article is, you know, they're doing what they're supposed to do. They're promoting their brand of their country. And, you know, there's ties that may be looking to go to that place. And there's probably tourism money to be made out of that. And I can totally understand why those embassies would want to encourage that, at least in a limited context. So, you know, I, I think we're kind of seeing, I hesitate to use the term hysteria, but maybe a lot of excitement to find some place. Uh, at least some people are looking to find some place to leave Thailand in order to, it seems, to get this vaccine and then presumably return. But again, I think everyone's cir uh, circumstances are different and, you know, different people are looking for different things in different places. And, you know, we deal with a lot of immigration, especially to the U.S. and to Thailand. So we totally understand the, what do you want to call it, the inclination in people or the drive in people, if you will, to, you know, sometimes up stakes and become an expat somewhere else. 